Welcome to the Ask an Aggie podcast, where we are exploring the ins and outs of college life here in College Station. We want you to have the best college experience you can, so listen in as we dive into relevant topics that will help you navigate this new and exciting stage of life. Well, hey guys, welcome to the Ask an... Oh, wait, I need to... Sorry. Oh. Now we're good. I didn't miss my... Oh, so yeah. Fall asleep. Yeah. <sighs> Well, hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Ask an Aggie podcast. My name is Asher. Today in the studio, we've got Jordan. Yep, and uh, excited to be here because we have our friend, mm. Alejandro Luis Jr., yes. well, but his friends call him Hondro. They call Hondro. Me Hondro. Yeah. So <laughs> Hondro has an experience uh, that so many on the a ms campus have, yeah. mm-hmm. but nobody really ever talks about. Mm. So yeah. Hondro started at Blinn, and you were there for a year and a half. Uh, yeah, three semesters. Three so semesters. Th- year and All half. right. And so tell us, Hondro, you're not from College Station. You're not mm-hmm. from Bryan. How did you end up at Blinn? Why did you end up at Blinn? Uh, kind of just tell us all that. So uh, I first heard about Blinn kind of actually my last semester of high school. Um, so it was, so it was pretty late. Yeah, it was very late um, coming into it. And uh, I guess a big reason why I went to Blinn was because. I wanted to save a lot of money on okay. it. So, um, cause it's a lot cheaper than just going sure. to A and M. To A and M. Uh huh. But you didn't go to a community college cause you're from like the Fort Worth. Yeah. Area. So I'm from, yeah, from Fort Worth. And I, I mean, I decided not to go to a community college there just cause I wanted to kind of like get away from where I was. Get the full college yeah, experience. Yeah. Did most of your, uh, friends from back home from high school, did they stay in DFW area? Yeah. So a lot of students from my high school, stayed either like they either went to like the local community college like tcc or they went to like unt or uta okay so that area is like really big with commuters gotcha and so a lot of students stayed there i i don't i can like count off of my hand like how many students i know that like went away from home really really wow uh-huh. and so, so so there were a lot of like people who stayed so you mm-hmm. come down and you find out about it what Six months before you yeah. enroll. <laughs> yeah. um, the the deadline for the application day was yeah. three yeah, days like, ago, and he's like, please let me apply. His <laughs> guidance counselor's like, yeah. well, I mean, it's a little late, but go for <laughs> it. Is, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you come down here. Blinn, do you, do you just sign up in a dorm, or how does that all work? So depending on which campus you get to, there's I think there's like three, if I remember. There's like Burnham, Sealy, and then and then Brian. The Brian. And Brian, yeah, and so only one of the campuses like provides on campus like dorms, mm-hmm. and that's a Brenham. And so I, I do knew, I, I did know a couple students who like commuted from like Brenham to Blinn or like gotcha. or Brian to Brenham, and then yeah, it's just, just like all over the place. Um, but if you do go to the one in in Brian, um, you do need to get like your own housing, so like your own apartments. Okay. So um, what what did you do for that? So I found another kid from my high school or another student from my high school who decided to go to Blinn too. And we just roomed together. Gotcha. So, so you are a little bit on your own. Like you have to find your own oh, yeah. housing. Yeah. It's not going to be set up through mm-hmm. the, the universe, uh, yeah. through the college, yeah. but, but it's doable still. Mm-hmm. Cause I know there's, I mean, there's just so many student sure. apartments yeah. in, in yeah. town. I know a lot of people who go to Blinn that live with people who go to A&M. Yeah. Um, and a, a lot of it's the same as like, living in a dorm where you can just sign up to be a mm-hmm. person even if you don't know the people yeah you're, you're just going with, yeah yeah he's getting like with the random because yeah. you've even even since you've transferred and you've lived on the northgate area you've had a random roommate before yeah yeah, yeah. where that yeah. just so if you are freaking out about i want to come to a&m you can just get in pools and yeah be given a roommate mm-hmm. that sort of stuff mm-hmm. so speaking of coming into a&m what was your transition like um, cause obviously Blinn and A&M are going to have differences. Yeah. So what, what was the transition like coming into A&M for that first semester? So it was a lot bigger. Okay. I, I yeah, yeah. 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 Like it, I didn't realize how much time it would take me to get like to one class. Oh, wow. to yeah. another. And that was cause you, yeah. cause I remember like you still interacted with us on campus yeah. and like you were on A&M's campus, mm-hmm. but even still it was yeah, a it shock was, factor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so I think. The biggest thing for me was kind of like how big the the actual yeah, campus was. Yeah. Cause I mean I had classes in like Langford and then the next class would be in like 
Kleberg on West Campus. So like Kleberg. West Campus to, to North Side, yeah, to and North you're just side. like and you having know. to figure out like which buses yeah, to take, yeah. and then yeah, it, I mean, it, you get used to it though. Like you yeah. get used to how big the campus is. Oh, he's um, playing foot smooth with me. I am. Oh yeah. wow! Hey, <laughs> um, take me to dinner social first. Social distance. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I guess it's a lot more fast pace. Um, oh really? So you at Blend like. They only like recommend you take twelve hours. Really? And so whenever I got to A and M, I think I went from like twelve hours that last or nine hours that last semester because I had dual oh, credit stuff. Take, yeah, yeah. From high school and they were like, Well, you can't take anything else, so you'll just take nine. Yeah. Like, so oh, it was yeah. a transition in academic rigor yeah, to an yeah, extent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um did you notice a difference? Because one thing I've heard is that Blinn has an attendance um mm-hmm. policy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what explain that to us? So I, from what I remember, it was if you're not in class three times, you're dropped. Oh okay. wow! In the, so like, it's strict. Yeah, it's pretty strict. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't like, know why they do that. There, there are some professors that don't enforce yeah, it, okay. and then there are some that are very. Like, but but that's gonna be kind of a stark difference from A yeah, and M. Yeah, and then I mean I do know some professors at A and M that do require it. Yeah, um, yeah, of course. Sure. And but so, you're not gonna get, likely not gonna get kicked out of the course. Yeah, you'll and probably get like some grade. Yeah, like, it'll be a grade deduction. Yeah. What's nice about that, and I think what Blend does a really good job of, is for a student who is worried about the academic rigor that A and M is going to present, mm-hmm. Blend kind of eases you into the transition from high school to college yeah, yeah, yeah. by setting up some requirements that really, in the long run, uh, are there to benefit you. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's to get sure. you in good rhythms. It's to teach you how to study and yeah, how to succeed. Sure. Um, and so a lot of people will will either make fun or pick on that blend, you know, has some yeah, of those policies, yeah. but they're really in place for the student's benefit. Absolutely, mm-hmm. yeah. And so let me ask you this. So you came to College Station, uh, which is named College Station because of A&M. It, mm-hmm. And so I think it's easy to overlook the fact that Blinn exists. Yeah. So you're in a, you're in a college town that is centered around A&M. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you ever feel left out? Um, at some points, yes. Um, but then I was kind of... And that, that was kind of my own fault just because... Yeah. Um, like my first semester, I was very like... Not knowing like... Trying to find find my place, I guess. Gotcha. Um, yeah. And then coming into like my second semester, I got really vo- involved with like FBC. Yeah. And then I made friends who like went to A and M and and like. Yeah, for sure. I would like. So. Got transitioned. Did you into find it. that it was easy to get involved with, you know, like orgs and stuff that A and M offered? Mm. So. I I don't think I was involved with any orgs mm-hmm. my freshman year. Yeah. Other than like FBC stuff. Okay. Um, but I do know there there are organizations on campus that do like take blend students. Yeah. So like you mm-hmm. joined our church and that was kind of your organization. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I know like even it, it impact, which is you know the retreat that me and you were both involved in mm-hmm. for freshmen. Like, I want to say like half of the yeah. organizations or like there's a very few that don't accept really? blend. Wow. Yeah. Students. Yeah. Um, and then I think the, they're more of like the the bigger known orgs on campus so like your your fish your flows yeah like yeah, very yeah. a and yeah. specific the, the yeah. ones that are sponsored yeah. by a and m yeah, like are going to be restricted mm. yeah. but in general like i've known a, people in my own orgs that go to blinn and, mm. and that doesn't seem to be an issue yeah or even impact counselors yeah you know, they sure. go to blend that kind of stuff mm. so i'm gonna ask a personal question because i know we're you got a few more over there but uh did you ever feel embarrassed to say that you went to blend I did a little just because, like, there was a stigma. Okay. Mm. What was that stigma? Was it more perceived? Do you think that, like, if you told somebody you went to blend, did you feel them um, stigmatize or judge anyway? Or was it maybe you felt it more internally? I think I felt it more internally. Okay. Because, like, looking back at it now, it's like, well, like, who cares? Sure. Um, But you felt that, that kind of embarrassment of, I don't want to, or I'm Mm. I'm different. Mm. Because a majority of your friends were A&M students. Yeah. Um, you're going to graduate with the same, not the same degree, but the same degree yeah. name on it yeah. and all that. And so I mean, same university, yeah. same university. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's just something I think that I've noticed, yeah. uh, Asher, a lot of, um, students, they almost feel a little embarrassed by that, mm. but they're getting a quality education. Yeah. They're still progressing in life. They're still doing all that. They can still be involved. Yeah. Um, 
I, I don't think you need to be embarrassed by the fact that, oh, I go to Blinn or I just go to Blinn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't think that we should, in the same breath, you know, look at a major university as if it's, you know, the best thing out there. Sure. Like, like it, you know, I think we really look at A&M and some big universities and just have this, you know, fantastical view. Sure. Of, you mm. know, how great it is yeah. to go there, um, which I think can be, you know, lost on a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So, Andro, you know, just as we close out, we always like to ask our guests, you know, do you have a pro tip for freshmen? Uh, but since this is a blend episode, yeah. uh, we just want to ask you, do you have a tip that you can offer uh, a blend student coming in? Um, I guess just like kind of repeating what, what Jordan was saying, like don't feel discouraged that you're going yeah. to like a community college. Um, I mean, you are like you're going to college. Like that's sure. that's a big thing. And even if it's a community college, I mean, it's still a big thing. Like it's still um, a big step. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's still a big step it's in no life. It's small thing. And so if, if it is just like one to two years, I mean, that's looking back at it, you're not going to like remember too much of it. Mm-hmm. Um, like hopefully you do like college. Is yeah. Fun. Yeah. Um, but it's just going to be like that little sliver, like one to two years out of your like whole like 80, 90 years. Sure. This earth. Yeah. Um, so I would say like, don't, don't feel discouraged. Mm. Um, and yeah, I guess that's just my pro yeah. tip. Just embrace it. Yeah. Just embrace it. Like, Hey, yeah. you know, you're going to college. Like that's, that's an amazing thing. Yeah, um, you're getting your foot out there, and yeah, for sure. What What's succeed. really neat is we have all these different guests in, uh, mm-hmm. and we have all these different s- subjects. And what the theme that I continue to hear coming out is most of your fears, most of your anxieties as far as school and worries and all of this are mostly internal. Yeah, mm-hmm. that we are building these things inside of us, and then when we actually live it out. It's not nearly as bad as we thought mm, it was going to be. Good word. Mm. And so, uh, yeah, thank you for sharing today, mm. um, Hondro. And uh, this is super helpful because we want to empower those students that are listening to Ask an Aggie, but they're starting at Blinn. Mm. And they have all the dreams and aspirations to be an Aggie and all of that sort of stuff. That starting at Blinn is not starting a lap behind yeah. or mm. not really being an Aggie. Mm. Uh, you, you can be a college student here in town just like everyone else. Yeah. Mm. Well, sweet. Thank you, Hondro, and thank you guys for listening. Uh, Remember, if you guys have a question you want us to answer, just head over to askanaggy.com and fill out our form, and we'll catch you next time.